Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, All About BI. In this session, I'm going to talk about a recent addition to mapping data flows. It's nothing but cast transformation. So, as the name says, cast transformation is uh, aimed to do typecasting for us. Okay, your source might bring various columns of various types, and before it gets loaded to the sink, if you want to do typecasting, then cast transformation will make the job simpler. You can ask when we already have a derived column transformation which is capable of doing the typecasting for us, why do we need one more? With respect to derived column transformation, in case of uh, uh, errors during typecasting, right, those errors uh, will not be caught that easily if we are not using an assert transformation. Okay, Whenever there is an error while uh, typecasting is done, it will be treated as null in derived column transformation and those kinds of issues have to be taken care of using an assert transformation okay so uh, derived column transformation will convert the errored out values to null and you have to capture it using an assert transformation so this is a little bit lengthy process right so in order to avoid this they have introduced this cast transformation which is a very easy uh, to use transformation i'll show you that now and uh, we can see how to use that right so there is a cast transformation in that you can keep on adding as many uh, columns as needed right so if you want to convert I, I, i'll show you my source first okay so my source has uh, around 10 columns each of them are of a certain type and i wanted to do some uh, type casting before i load it to sync so as you can see I have an address ID column, I have a post postal code column and a modified date column. Here and all we can expect some typecasting errors. Okay, So I want this address ID column to be an integer column and this postal ID column to be also an integer column. I don't want this kind of string data and all. If I ha if I am getting a string data in postal code column, I have to treat it as an errored out column. Okay, So similarly modified date also we can add. So I'm just going uh, to cast transformation, and then I I'm I'm making sure address ID should be an integer, and then my postal code should be also an integer column. Okay. So once I do this, it it will internally uh, start typecasting the values coming from source, and in case there are any issues, right? Uh, we can easily capture by selecting this uh, uh, checkbox as a type check so if you do that and do a data preview right it will be marking the rows which are bringing data which is not adhering to the data type that we are mentioning in cast okay in our case we have certain rows which bring string in the postal code column right so all those rows will be marked as errored out rows okay what next we have identified the records which are not uh, bringing the data properly and uh, we should be able to split the uh, data right split in the sense uh, uh, we have to be able to split the errored out data from the good data so that we can handle the errors at a later point in time so for that what i have done i have added a split uh, transformation conditional split wherein i have mentioned uh, two streams one is error data another one is good data so in the error data i am just mentioning is error function okay this function is going to identify those records which are not conforming to the data type that we have mentioned in the cast transformation so if you look at the data preview here it will be uh, having two streams one is error data another one is good data whatever you are seeing in the screen is nothing but good data okay good data in the sense address id uh, and uh, postal code both of them will be bringing data in integer and then if you look at the errored out data uh, either postal id column or address id column is not confirming to the data type okay so uh, this is how we used to split the errored out records from the good records so after this it's up to us uh, to handle it uh, you can load the error data to a file or an error table and then take it forward from there and load the good data to the actual table and we can do whatever we want after that so this is uh, how we use cast transformation in data flow 
in the mapping data flow in data factory and synapse uh, so as you can see it's a very simple and easy to use transformation for uh, handling the data type conversion part for us okay in case you have any questions on this i request you to post it in the comment section thanks a lot for watching keep supporting